going on my pre healthcare brothers and sisters I hope that you are having a wonderful day we're continuing on with our ATIT's question review series and today we're going to be discussing punctuation which of the following is an example of correctly punctuated direct dialogue in this sentence all the sentences are the same except the punctuation is different the sentence reads he explained rain gardens provide attractive landscaping that absorbs stormwater is choice A, B, C, or D the correct answer? And the correct answer is D. Choice D is an example of direct dialogue with proper use of quotation marks. In choice C, the quotation marks are incorrectly omitted, and in choice A, incorrectly uses single quotation marks. Choice B is an example of an indirect quote and does not need quotation marks. Which of the following sentences correctly applies the rules of punctuation? The example is, in Hemingway's The Sun Also Rises, protagonist Jack Burns explains, you can't get away from yourself by moving from one place to another. Is the correct answer A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is A. Choice A provides the only example of a sentence that is punctuated correctly. In this sentence, the direct quote from Jack Barnes is enclosed with double quotation marks, and the ending punctuation a period preceded the final quotation mark. Which of the following sentences correctly applies the rules of punctuation? The example is, Terence tested out of several first year classes. Therefore, you will graduate one semester early. Is the correct answer A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is B. To punctuate this sentence properly, the conjunctive adverb therefore that connects the two independent clauses must be preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma. Therefore, only choice B is correct. Which of the following sentences is correctly punctuated? The example is, because of the large number of runners expected at this year's marathon, advanced registration is required. Is the correct answer A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is C. The properly punctuated sentence, choice C, separates the dependent clause that begins the sentence from the independent clause in the latter part of the sentence with a comma. The other sentences are incorrect because choice A omits the comma, choice B creates a sentence fragment, and choice D uses a semicolon without two independent clauses. Which of the following sentences contains the appropriate use of an apostrophe? Is it A, the college held its annual convention last week? B, the season's harvest should be plentiful due to the optimal weather? C, students must complete their capstone projects prior to graduation? Or D, we are joining the Andersons for a barbecue next Saturday? And the correct answer is B, the season's harvest should be plentiful due to optimal weather. Only choice B provides an example of an apostrophe used correctly since seasons shows possession and requires the mark of a punctuation. Choices A and C are examples of contractions requiring apostrophes, but they are used incorrectly in the place of their pronouns it's and their. Choice D contains an unnecessary apostrophe since the plural form Andersons is needed. Which of the following sentences correctly punctuates direct dialogue? The example is, the conductor announced our next selection is spring for Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Is the correct answer A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is B. Choice B is correct because the song title is indicated by single quotation marks and the entire quote is enclosed by double quotation marks. Choice A places the period at the conclusion of the sentence outside the quotation marks and is therefore incorrect. In addition to perfect form, successful Olympic swimmers possess the following three qualities, strength, speed, and stamina. Which of the following punctuation marks correctly completes the sentence above? 
Is it A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is C. Choice C is the correct answer since the sentence requires a colon after word qualities. When a sentence includes a list, a colon should be used after the independent clause preceding the list. Which of the following is an example of a correctly punctuated sentence? The example is, my friend asked, what are your travel plans this summer? Is the correct answer A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is D. Choice D provides an example of a direct quote that is punctuated correctly. A comma is used following the introductory phrase to set off the direct quote and double quotation marks and close both the quoted material and the final punctuation, in this case, a question mark. Which of the following is an example of a correctly punctuated sentence? The example is, Anne owns a variety of cookbooks. However, she prefers to search for recipes online. Is the correct answer A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is A. Choice A contains two independent clauses joined by a conjunctive adverb. So the placement of the semicolon before and a comma following the word however is correct. Since the other sentences do not follow this required punctuation, they are of course incorrect. Moving on to our last question. Which of the following words is correctly written? Is it A, unkind, B, readjust, C, all-inclusive, or D, non-essential? And the correct answer is C, all-inclusive. A hyphen should be used following the prefixes all, X, and self. The other answer choices do not require hyphens and should be written as one word. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.